Well, Mad Tech Junior somehow managed to teleport himself to me. <laughs> so I have a feeling that if you got my dogs to stand up, they'll probably actually come over here. Should I? You want yeah, that? If you, if you, that way they'll be out your guy's way. So how do I make them stand? You just right click on them. I can do that? I don't know. No, I can't. Okay, They're your Ma dogs. Okay, only Mad Tech can then. <laughs> Hence yeah, one. probably his admin. So I had to make him a little house because I didn't want him out in the elements. Just ignore the fact that I still have a bed next door that's not doing anything. <laughs> nice. Also, I have a very overpowered fishing rod. Ooh. Remember yesterday when I was um, going treasure hunting, I found a few fishing rods, one with mending? Yeah. Yeah, so apparently if you have mending on your fishing rod, it just has infinite durability. It re it does, unless you yeah. um, AFK and not realize you're not quite clicking on the AFK farm properly, and then it just destroys itself. Yeah, but as long as you actually catch something, you immediately repair it. Oh, I know. That's how I used to do it when you could um, AFK fish them out of the water. It's so overpowered. Mm. Also, I paid nine diamonds to get Luck of the Sea 3 from a Mad Tech, so... Diamonds. I wish I could have diamonds. If they weren't my diamonds. I stole mustards. Oh. But he said he didn't care. He has, he has a full set of diamond armor already enchanted. Wow. Because he was mining during the trial. Oh, he wasn't actually in the... Didn't take part in the trial. I still need No! To, I need, still need to edit all of that. I thought you also had, like, an Hour of Among Us footage. I still have the Hour of Among Us footage that I keep dabbling with. I still have the, um... Oh, Metak. Yeah, he's back. Quickly, don't do anything with plants! Oh, he already turned down the tick speed slightly. It's still ridiculous. Yeah, but he already turned it down. Yeah. You can't. You don't have instant berries anymore and and stuff. Oh, you have instant so trees. Yeah. Wait, did he turn it back up then? Try. Nope, he didn't turn it back up. Oh no, he definitely turned it back up. Oh my god. <laughs> Abuse the system. Um. Um. So here's the thing. This means we're gonna get quite a few problems. One yeah. that mustard discovered yesterday. What? While you were gone. Um. You know how um, zombie piglins spawn in next to a portal? Yeah. Yeah, that's based on a tick speed. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> can you uh, figure out the issue from what I just said? I can. Um, Nurgle uh, that... uh, Mustard told me he did this on his own server once, and after an hour of AFKing, his uh, world broke. Yeah, that is a lot of pigmen. Uh, you know what? I'll let Mattek deal with it. I just won't tell him what it is. Um, have you have you decided, guys decided how you're gonna actually get up here? Do you? I'm um, probably Nether highways. That could work. Um, Shiver has been trying to get on the Nether roof, but we didn't have enough pearls. And if we are able to do that, we could actually go there pretty fast, I reckon. That would rely on me actually having a Nether portal here, though. Yeah, but here's the thing: if you just note down your location, we can uh, divide it by eight. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Get to you. That's, that's good. Also means that the portal over there is automatically connected to the roof. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work out better. I say I'm not quite. I'm not quite in the ideal place we want for the. Um... Yeah, I'm not quite in the ideal place, but the ideal place is in the middle of water. <laughs> I also got a steal of a deal yesterday with Lee. How so? I've been. Fi I was fishing for two hours, so I had a lot of cooked fish, like m multiple stacks, and I, he gave me a Nautilus shell for only a stack of cooked fish. That's not bad. Wonder no, he... because I was fishing for two hours and I only got one. Well, there is a solution. Oh my god. Ground farms. Ground farms, uh, from, what I, from, from what I've seen, are pretty reliable. Yeah, I mean, if you can Getting still, um, let's just quickly Google what you can okay, still Okay, I'm get... going to close up the portal. There's already 10 zombie piglins. Oh, God. There's one thing I will do probably today, and that's make a, a wool farm. Seeing as we have an insanely high tick rate, we should be able to just get a bunch of wool really quickly. Wool? Yeah, uh, for making beds. Ah, uh, um, this... To be fair, when I was getting wool for the sheep, 
Um, it still relies on them eating, obviously still eating the grass. And sometimes it happens quick and sometimes it really doesn't. Yeah, but they can also make them mate. You can also get a bunch of baby sheep and shit. Quickly. That means there's multiple sheep. That is true. Does that mean the animals are growing quicker? Probably. It's based on tick speed, right? I can't remember if animals are based on tick speed or not. Only one way to find out, I guess. That's first finding two sheep. <laughs> yeah, because I want to go netherite mining like tomorrow or something. Yeah. If I have a bunch of beds, it's just making them in a long corridor, walking backwards and placing them, blowing them up constantly. Oh, apparently there's actually another way to do AFK fish farms. There is? According to this uh, YouTube video. Well, it's so 1.16 huh. to 1.16.4. Yeah, but I think a drowned farm might still be better. Well, I was just thinking for now, especially for me, since like I say I'm in the middle of nowhere, very limited stuff. Oh, I can try to get to you, because apparently I explored the most area out of everyone already. Oh, involves using a redstone wiring and clock. Never mind. Life is too short for me to understand that. <laughs> yep, ask Shiv about that. I just want what the AFK loot table is. Swifty was flabbergasted with how much I explored yesterday. Why, well, you did do a lot. Yeah, um, Swifty just came into the call and was like, why did, why did you go so far? <laughs> he said I've explored more than there already was. I thought he was meant to leave us alone, Western game. Oh, we had a, um, yeah, we made the deal just a little different. He needs to leave us alone while we're actually in the game. Yeah, I know that, but I'll, I got we gave, told. An we gave him an exception because we were chilling with Matt Tech in, uh, in BC, so we gave him permission for that time. Jesus fucking Christ, his tick speed is still insane. I know. Just plays down dirt immediately, grass. <laughs> that was literally me doing the um, trees and stuff. And then I leveled the small island I'm on a bit, so it was less of it ill. And... Yeah, just instant grass. But I, I ran, in, many... I ran oh, into the issue that Mad Tech was literally sat on a tree nearby, and I'm like going, I don't want to show him the pretties. He cannot know, unless he already does. I don't have any ender pearl. Bummer. How about right? Also, go I should, I should go make a priority on getting leather. I need to get some cows and sheep. Say, so, at the moment, I'm just focusing on trying to get Resources so I can survive. Which food? Uh, should I get my fishing rod to you? You can use it if you want. Yeah. So food's going... Uh, if you could bring me some raw potatoes as well, that would be great. I could bring you a bunch of stuff. I could bring you a bunch of baked potatoes if you want. Well, if I have raw Actually, ones, then I can make myself some potatoes. Oh, that's true as well. Um, I also have some a lot of cooked fish that I can just give you. Yeah. If you want. That'd be great. Um, I say, cause I'm. I didn't think I was gonna just make need... make it without dying, and I ended up making it. Without you know dying. what? I'm just gonna go seafaring again. Why not? I have 17 puffer fish. All the underwater breathing conditions I could make with that. With the puffer fish? Yeah, use puffer fish and underwater breathing potions. I thought you might use it for a. Uh, what's it called? A uh, poison po pot. No, for poison, it's spider eyes. Oh, that means at least we have the good re the resources to at least clear the uh, thing, yeah. right? That's at least handy dandy. So um, as, as I said, I know just about all of the potion formulas still. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to learn them. The only ones I'm really going to prioritize is either poison, um, splash damage, um, resistance, strength, and regeneration. That's those are the only ones that I care about. Splash health is quite good because it's like a grenade against um, zombies. Yeah, but I, I I'm I don't intend it to use against them. I know, but still, it's always useful to have. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but that's also kind of the reason I don't want to make uh, pots of instant damage because the chance of hitting yourself. Is pretty big. Yeah, I I rarely use ones that are gonna hurt me. That's why I'm, I prefer using, like, um, uh, poison pots. To be fair, I say that as if I ever actually use potions. And what, the, what are the cords, by the way? Um, the coordinates I'm at. 
Yes. Like 207 minus 3835. So the only really one I need to remember is the Z. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Or ba I can just use basically, the map. if you just if you just go north from where we are, I can just do this and yep, I see you. On a small little island, because I'm just a girl yeah, from the island. Yeah, about negative four thousand. I should be able to remember negative four thousand. So. Stands apart from the crowd. That's the wrong direction that I'm walking right now. The right one. Okay. Also, Metek did something stupid and gave me a phase. Why did he give you a and phase? He was just throwing. Or he was very bored last night, during the nearing the end of my stream. Sounds it. He was so bored. He was just throwing around eggs, everything. It was just lightning and smiting everything. Every it, it was not pretty. He was so bored. He was a flying squid for a while too. Oh yeah, because of the fun commands he has. Yeah, he was doing so... Did you see uh, the fake uh, picture we uh, sent... We created? Mm. The picture of Swifty coming on into our base. Did you see it? Yes, I saw it. Yes. <laughs> After that, Swifty came into our chat. Pretty pog. This is going to take a while before I'm it, at your place. It took me, don't forget, a full Minecraft day to get here. Yeah, but here's the thing. I'm probably going to be streaming for like a few hours today. So I don't know how long I'm going to keep recording for. I mean, because the more I record, the more I have to edit. My stream yesterday was six hours long. Jeez. Right. Eventually. And that's when I came back after dinner. Going to have a chest dedicated to getting sand. Since we're going to want a lot of sand. Maybe we should actually stay at your place a little bit and just work on the um, drowned farm. I am right next to the ocean. It's quite a view. Yeah, that's also. But also the fact that it's near our base, you know? Yeah. But from what I've seen, it's pretty complicated. You need to AFK at the top of a spot for a while, and then afterwards, you need to go to the nether to uh, reap the reward. I I have no idea. I've... So basically, you force the drowned into another portal and catch them oh. that way in the Nether. You use turtle eggs, but it also means that mob griefing is on. You also have that. So I I don't really play around with many. Fun mob griefing like is that. basically being able to. Pick oh, I know what mob griefing off. I'm I'm talking about the. Uh, Drowned murdering machine. I don't make a lot oh, yeah, of those. Ba oh, basically, you just catch them in the nether portal, stay there for a while, and then go to the nether and reap the rewards. Mm. Pumpkins. I'm thinking of maybe just for a joke going on to explore every little bit of unexplored land. To be just fair, making the dynamic map full. I was so, so tempted. To, I'm so tempted to do that myself, but traveling's a pain. Maybe it would make a very nice um, oh, a time lapse. It would. So I was trying to find out if there's a village nearby, but of course there's nothing really explored up here. Oh, yeah, good. There's... More people. And more. The more people we have, the better. But they'll never be part of the God Hand. They'll never. Be... We're the God Hand. Yeah, exactly. The five of us are the God Hand, the originators. Yeah, there's a whole area of like unexplored land quite near me. And there's a good chance a village, a village could be in it. That's what I'm thinking. Because there's not that many villages uncovered around us. Uh, well, today is for me going to be resource gathering, so I might actually just wander around there if you want. That could be great, because if you know there's a village there, that makes our plan so much easier. That's fine. I'll do that. I, I just need... Oh, fuck it. Enchantment table with me. Shit! I'll have to go back for the enchantment table. Eventually. Because yeah. I want Fortune 3. Yeah, and I'm tempted to go over to the slightly bigger island that appears to be across the way and just looking at that. So I don't know if it's an ah. island or it's a continent or whatever. Where are you? Oh, you're about halfway there. 
Yeah. I just run non-stop. So I did it. I ran, and then I boated, and then I ran, and then I boated, and then I swam. It's the reason I was able to explore so much, so quickly. Yeah. And fight three hearts of the sea. Now we just need 22 more Nautilus shells. It sounds like not a lot until you realize it's almost as rare as netherite. I mean, drowned have a 3% chance of spawning with one. Yeah, and then you just need, and they always drop it, but that's the only reliable way to get it. Uh, it's still 3%. Wandering tradesmen may sell, uh, sell it. And to be fair, yeah. I do actually sell them, st see them selling a lot. And obviously, if you have the look of the sea on your fishing rod. Yeah. But to be fair, I only got still only got one Nautilus shell in three in like two hours of fishing, so it's not that reliable. It's a one point nine percent chance. Yeah, I caught over two stacks of fish, so I don't think it. I get got it. I only got it once. Oh wait, that's out. Hey, did you uh, loot this um, nether portal uh, a ruin? I haven't looked at the Never Fossil Ruin. Um, we have. Oh, that's. I, I'm gonna take that. I'm definitely gonna take that. What that's is it? really nice. What you got? Uh, Frostwalker too. Ooh, that's Both. not horrible. That's <laughs> pretty nice. That's the reason I don't really like Bedrock. I like some of the things they have in Bed Bedrock, but most. Yeah, but of they it... have eight DLC. Hmm. Yeah. Which is a weird thing to think about being in Minecraft. You need to pay for skin. Yeah, it's just weird when you can make your own for free. Yeah, in Java. I mean, my Bedrock account does have my skin on it. One thing I do find funny is that you can have um, a weird proportions in Bedrock. That's kind of funny. One thing I like about Bedrock um, that Java doesn't have is when you finish a stack of items in your hand, if you yeah. have another stack of the exact same items in your inventory, it will fill up in your hand. Which is great if you're just wanting to spam out building, but... Oh, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, and that's like the only thing I've experienced in uh, Bedrock I want. Yeah, that sounds pretty nice. I really want the proportions because I will I have the weird, dumbest character in my PS4 Minecraft world. He just has stilts for leg, the biggest fucking forehead you could imagine, and just a mustache. Wow. And one tooth taken out. Because proportions are so weird, you can make it very dumb. So I've not really played it. The only reason I played it was because one of my friends brought Bedrock because it was cheaper. Is it cheaper? It is. It's like, uh, Java's like 16 quid and Bedrock's like five pounds. Because hmm. they get you with all the microtransactions. Yeah, I still think... Um... Java's a better deal yeah. than So I, I so I brought my friend Java Edition for Christmas. <laughs> I was like going, I can't I can't watch you play this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> come come pl play at the, the big girl table. <laughs> yeah, I'm still weirded out the fact that we don't technically have crossplay with Java. Um well it's, it's because Bedrock and Java are just so different. It would have been fun. It would it would be great and so useful, but... Cause I, if I'm just in the train with my Switch, which I usually am, just play some Minecraft, like be on the server, the MESMP, just do some farming. Mm -hmm. I never bothered getting... Um... The Switch? No, Minecraft on my Switch. I don't, ha I don't have it, but if I could play with... Like, yeah, it would Java be worth people, I it. Would. That would definitely be worth it. Unfortunately, that's not possible. Yeah. Well, I'm still stuck playing Breath of the Wild. You make that sound like it's a bad thing. I have already, like, over 200 hours. Oh, God. I borrowed Breath of the Wild from my friend. When I it don't came... even have all of the Korok seeds. <laughs> yeah, I borrowed Breath of the Wild from my friend when he got it. Well, that and his Switch, until I got my own. And um, I completed the game, got Link's special outfit... So I completed all the shrines. Maxed out health and stamina. <laughs> oh, wait, did you first? Do, did you go first for stamina or health? Um, it depends what I needed at the time. I tried to keep it quite level. 
so oh, that... I always tend to go for stamina. Because I know I can dodge and I'm really good at dodging, dodging and parrying in the game. Well, I happen to know so... I'm terrible at those topics. So I opted to boost my health and then boost my stamina and kept it pretty uh... even. Yeah, because I'm also one of those weirdos that just goes out Lionel hunting first thing he can do. Me, still at the end of the game, avoiding those things. I can kill them in 30 seconds. I can be killed with by them in 30 seconds. <laughs> I uh, tend to go Lionel hunting. I'm, I've am i now done two Divine Beasts in uh, Master Mode, because I'm going to 100% complete it in Master Mode. I want to stream that once I get a capture card. But I'll be doing that then. I already have Golden Lionels at this point, which are a step above uh, the Silver ones. Jeez. Master Mode. They have like 25% more health and do a bit more damage. That's it. And they drop uh, star fragments and diamonds, which is nice. It's, um, I haven't played it since I played it off with my friend Switch, but then my sister's actually got it for me for Christmas. You should play it. You should stream it. I don't have a capture card. <laughs> Seems we all have that issue. Not to mention, my laptop just wouldn't let me do that. Actually, it oh. might, since I'm not... I would only be recording it. I wouldn't be... Um, yeah, you, yeah you'd only be through. recording. Mm. But yeah. I like... I'm definitely planning on streaming it. Because otherwise, there there will be no reason for me to find all the Korok seeds. I've also uh, got Bayonetta on my Switch. Bayonetta? I've never played it. Oh, it's... It should. It's so different. Uh, when I when I got it, I the main reason I got it was because I heard that Bayonetta three was coming out on the Switch like in a couple of months. I was like, going, oh cool! So if I get these two now, by the time I finish playing them, yeah. <laughs> well, where's Bayonetta three? The same place Half Life three is. Metroid Prime four is also coming out on the Switch eventually, right? Um, not sure. They said something about a new Metroid Prime. By the way, you want to know the fastest way to learn to parry? Um, fail a hundred times and then you'll eventually pick it up. Know that. No, I, I was just... I The first time I started playing, I just was exploring the world, found a, a Lino and I refused to give up. Hello. And when you learn the techniques, you can also you can also uh, like not lose any durability on your weapon when fighting it. You're really good at it. <laughs> my, my main is you shoot... Is that I'd le I learn the skills and I stop playing for a, a couple of days and then I completely lose all the muscle memory. Oh, I had that too. It's just fighting a Lionel for me again and I learned it again. When would you fight a Lionel? Hmm. I, know I I've... just sometimes come back into the game to fight Lionels. Yeah. So, I know I've definitely killed one. Oh, hi! You made it! <laughs> Hello. It's a chicken head. Tittle? Potat? Oh, thank Potat? you. Thank you. I shall no longer. I was down to my last potat? stack of potat? potatoes. Potat? potat? And more potat. Okay, thank you. I can start and... the crop growing here. And? And? I can now do this. Never mind. It doesn't. It's, why, why isn't it working? Work! Why isn't Frostwalker work, working? Um. It should do. You try it out. It's not working for me. What the fuck? Yeah, it's gone oh. already. Tick speed! Tick speed! Tick it's speed! Tick speed! <laughs> no! Tick speed ruined Frostwalker! That, and I think it might be because of all the uh, kelp. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, I think it's the main. Okay. It, it's sort of the. <laughs> I can do this, which is. This is still helpful. What? It, now it's not disappearing. Something is wrong with the server, I think. Well, to be fair, the uh, frost worker walker ice either disappears too quickly or never disappears. Well, here you go, some free ice. Yay! If only I had a silk touch pickaxe. Doesn't it not drop the frost walker? Isn't that special? Isn't that a special type of ice? No, you still need a uh, 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 silk touch. But isn't it like you're not able to pick it up even with it? be able to do it without being um yeah in it have you found have you found a treasure map in here no i didn't there was just one chest with like some gold iron and emeralds in it that's too bad 
I just saw someone fly straight over your house. It was most likely mad tech. Since he does that when you're not paying attention. He just sort of appears. <laughs> yes, there's a mad tech behind you. A wild mad tech suddenly appeared. It, it does. I also... Oh, I have only some wheat with me, not the seeds. Sorry. <laughs> he was shot. <laughs> I'm in a lecture. <laughs> Fucking boring. Yes, of Sh course it's boring. Shouldn't, shouldn't he be focusing on the lecture rather than joining us on the Minecraft server? I have ice free, and for some reason that also applies to my online lessons. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Also, uh, take it. Ooh, Read what it says. Uh, Slice rod. Look at the enchantments I got. Look at the C3, Lure 2, and Mending. Pretty pog. It is. Metek was jealous, so he made himself a Lure 100 rod, and he just. It, it's all, it goes into the negative, so you don't catch anything with that. That's both sad and kind of amusing. Then I told him, like, an old, older article that was like, if you have eight, and because it was it used to be seconds cooldown. Yeah. Or you caught something. That eight, you had instant catches. So I told him like I, I told him that it didn't work because they changed fishing. You can now see the fish, um, the bubbles, right? Yeah. I got a perfect yeah. fish. So um, he tried it. It didn't work. And now there's a clip on my Twitch of just him uh, slow turning the fuck out of me. <laughs> the, the creepy slow turn right to my face. Do you like a stack of raw cod? Um, I have three stacks of potatoes. Um, if I I can take some fish off you, yeah, that way I'm not gonna die of starvation anytime you soon. Salmon. Thanks. Do you want your rod back, or am I looking after it for now? I mean, if you want my rod, just say so. Why is there a random? Oh, you threw cod. I, I wanted to. Yeah, I wanted to give it to him. He's not taken. He hasn't taken it. Well, my dog is just looking at it. Okay, I'm just gonna go AFK for a um, minute or so. Are you keeping my rod? Yep, it's mine now. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're breaking my rod! What's happening? Don't break my rod. Sorry, I landed on my mouse pad. <laughs> <laughs> You're breaking my rod! I'll fix it! Anyway, back to AFK, I'm doing a thing. 